talk about setting up your Roku Direct Publisher. So the very first thing before you do anything in WP Smart TV, you need to go over to Roku and learn about Direct Publisher. Now there is quite a bit to go over here, uh, more than the setup videos should include. So I'm going to skip that and save it for uh, a later tutorial that I'm going to be putting out uh, in the next month or two. But I, I will give you a basic overview of how it does work. Um, and if you're already experienced with Direct Publisher, this will be really easy for you to set up. And it's also important that you have at least one piece of content added into either movies, videos, or TV specials to proceed with this tutorial. Okay, so in your WP Smart TV dashboard, go to Roku settings. And in here, you're gonna see all kinds of options um, and we're gonna run through all of them now. So first up, you're gonna to wanna to know about your link for Direct Publisher feed. This is the feed link that you're gonna give Direct Publisher inside the dashboard um, to tell them where your video data is. You can also, if you're having problems with your web host, because that this does happen occasionally where Roku's system is not able to read your feed because of your host. Some hosts are willing to work with you on it. Other ones don't really care. So um, it's a case by case basis. The only soft or uh, web hosting company that we guarantee our plugins with is WP Engine. And that's simply because it, they all work on WP Engine without any issue at all. So, so that's just a little tip for those of you having problems with this, because um, we do get a lot of emails from free customers who uh, can't seem to get this working and 90% of the time it's because of their host. Okay, so next we need to choose what types of content we're gonna send to Roku. This allows you to curate what types of content you want to send to which devices. Um, for this example, we're going to select movies. You can also select multiple. You could select them all if you'd like. Now, direct publisher categories. Roku uses um, your tags that we sent set in a previous tutorial. Uh, when I said it was really important to include the tag, that's so Roku knows how to categorize your content on the screen. Now you can do this inside the Roku dashboard. It's a lot more complicated. I'd highly re recommend you turn this option on. Now we're gonna set up the query controls. This is how many items um, a video per category are put out. So say if you set this to 10, that would be 10 movies output to Roku. If you had these all turned on, it would be 10 items to movies, 10 to short form, 10 to series, 10 to TV specials. So 40 videos in total. And yes, we are gonna expand those controls coming up shortly. Now, I want to display all my content items in my Roku feed. So I'm just gonna set this to minus one. You can see that down here, used minus one for all content. Finally, we have our advertising controls. Now, if you're not familiar with Roku Direct Publisher, I recommend you skip this. You can always come back and set it up later. Uh, but if you do, already have a channel set up and you know what you're uh, or you're very comfortable with what you're doing you can set these up for pre-roll automatic scheduled scheduled with automatic fallback um, they're all described down here and you can make your choice as you see fit with your network and then we have our mid-roll timer so this if you have it set to automatic or scheduled with automatic fallback this will play a mid-roll every XX minutes. So 
you can set it up to play a uh, mid roll. They recommend about one every five to seven minutes. Uh, you can set it as high as you know an hour, an hour and a half. So uh, that's really up to you. Um, in this case, we're just going to leave it off for simplicity. So that's the first part of setting up our Roku uh, direct publisher feed. So we're just going to click Save Changes. And we're going to go back down to Roku Settings. And we're going to click this little link up here. And you'll see it sets up a JSON feed on your WordPress installation specifically for Roku Direct Publisher. So now we have to go over to Roku and set it up in their dashboard. All right, so in this section, we're going to show you how to set up Roku's Direct Publisher to work with WP Smart TV. So first, we're going to want to create a channel. So we'll go over to your Roku da developer dashboard. You can find it at developer.roku.com and click Manage My Channels. And we're just going to add a new channel. And of course, if you already have a channel, you can just edit your information to match what we're going to do here. So first up, we're going to want to select Direct Publisher. And we're going to want to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Rovidix TV. And this channel will be available at some point where we're going to have all the tutorial videos and some training and everything all on one channel. Uh, that's coming shortly, but uh, for now, we're going to want to click continue. And the next screen, you're going to get to select where you want your channels to be available. Uh, now, I recommend if you can, selecting all of them. If you can't, select the ones you can. Um, but the more, chan more locations you have, the more viewership you're going to find. So I like to have them all on and the languages you support right at the moment. I only have an English channel and that's all WP Smart TV supports, though in future upgrades, we're well, probably going to look at doing multilingual support. And is your channel directed towards children? And my channel is not. Uh, your parental hint, all ages, content rated, content not rated, and adults. We're just going to say all ages. And your vanity access code. So this is the URL that people will visit to add your channel to their Roku device uh, via the web interface. So you can change that to whatever you like, but I'm going to call mine Rovidix. And we're going to click save. Okay, and now it's asking for where is your feed located? Now in the first part of this video, I actually used a local server uh, to set things up, but you need to have a server uh, that is on the internet and visible to other uh, computers on the internet in order to make it all work. So uh, most hosting will work fine if you can uh, work around the little intricacies that come with hosting. Anyhow, uh, we're going to need to add the feed URL. Okay, so this is my test URL. I'm going to have to blur that out, obviously. And then the video format, we're going to say specified in feed and click continue. Now it's uh, time to set up our branding. So I've got already created the images, but you'll need to create images that match these dimensions in order for them to uh, appear properly. And you can select things like your background color, your text color. Uh, you can put a background image in instead. Um, your highlight color, your progress color. So, you know, we're just going to mix it up for the example. And that looks good. So we're going to click continue. Next, we have our channel layout. Uh, you can choose whichever one you want. Uh, though personally, I'm partial to the hero image, which gives you a bigger first row and followed by smaller icons underneath. So I'm gonna select hero row and click continue. 
And then how do we want to define categories for this channel? Now we can set them up as custom or from the feed. Um, if you do set them up as from the feed, uh, you can control everything inside of WordPress. Uh, you just have to follow our tutorial on setting up Roku recipes and uh, you'll be able to set them up from the feed. And if you want to set them up yourself uh, from the Roku dashboard for whatever reason, uh, you can do so by selecting custom. And in our tutorial series that's coming up on setting up Roku Direct Publisher, um, we'll go over that a lot more in detail. Anyhow, for now, we're going to click from feed. We're going to click continue. And the name. So I'm just going to keep everything really simple right now. We're going to need to add a poster image. And select a category. You can also add an optional web description, uh, the domestic region. So I'm in Canada. So I'm going to click continue. Here you can set up your advertising settings, but for now we're just going to select no. And then we're going to add some screenshots or auto generate. So we're just going to click auto generate and click continue. Now you can fill out all this information. Some of it is required. And once they're all filled out, we're going to click continue. And there you go. 